it for. Okay, Michael Steele, you were quite animated when I saw you in the hallway earlier about that I'm debate. Trying to be I'm trying to I'm going to see what you're going to tell me. You good. think of the debate that you told me in the hallway. What was your take on the debate, Michael? Still, go ahead. What was the key moment? She spanked that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's what she did. She came and she walked on that stage. Look, for me, this it's one of those things that you didn't realize happened until about 20 to 30 minutes into the debate. Mm. And it's what everyone's talked about. And for me, it was the pivotal, most important moment of the debate was when they were introduced. And Donald Trump came out. And if you watch, go back. I tell everybody to go back and watch this. He comes out. He goes direct to the podium. He is not. Usually you go to the middle of the floor to greet your opponent. He went to the opponent. He had no intention of shaking her hand. She walked across the stage right into his space, stuck her hand out, and said, Kamala Harris. First off, I'm saying my name so you get it right when you mm -hmm. say it, which he never said once during the entire debate. Mm -hmm. Two, he never looked at her during the entire debate. And there was at this point about 20 to 30 minutes in um, where... That moment for me hit and resonated because she owned that stage from that very first moment. Very much to what Molly was just saying, that what she did was she prosecuted when she needed to prosecute, and all other times she was presidential. Yeah. And he looked small, he looked withered, he looked beaten, but most importantly, he looked pissed. And there's nothing worse than a pissed bigot on the stage with a woman he can't control. And he, she gave him no quarter for that. She gave him no room. And even in the one moment where she talked while he was talking, and you knew it was the moment he wanted, and he rehearsed it, and he was so anxious to say it, when he looked at her, he goes, I'm speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speaking. <laughs> Does that, felt, sound from, he then he said, does that sound familiar? Does that sound familiar? <laughs> yeah, he was feeling clever. Yeah. Yeah. He was feeling in his oats. He was clever, and there was nothing. Yeah. You could hear a collective, uh, what did he just do? <laughs> Across the country, mm -hmm. even amongst his own people. So I think tonight um, was definitive yeah. for her. Tonight, Kamala Harris showed that she was not just a vice president, that she was, in fact, ready to be president on foreign policy, on the economy, yeah. on domestic social issues, on issues, sensitive issues around abortion and race. Yeah. She had a presidential vein that, that popped out very clearly for the country to see. And Donald Trump, the only thing he could do was stand there and look at the floor, sulk, pout. And on Twitter, the only thing MAGA could complain about was, oh, ABC, why are they fact-checking only Donald Trump? <laughs> uh, because he was the only one lying on the <laughs>